What's going on guys? It's Cole from Extreme Outfitters. Today we're going to talk about plates. I'm going to introduce you guys to our good buddy Chuck over here and he's going to let you guys know what you need to know. Alrighty. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Chuck. Uh, I'm just here to talk to you about a couple things with plates. Um, this is more of a, just an entry level discussion on plates and plate carriers, how to install them, things you want to look for and things you don't. Um, so for starters, we'll go with how you want to measure your plates. Uh, for your personal body, you want to go from nipple to nipple measurement, and that is going to be the width size of the plate, which will be the first number that shows up when you're ordering it. So this, for instance, is a HESCO uh, L210, and it is an 8 by 10, I believe, or I'm sorry, apologies, 10 by 12. Uh, so you're going to go 10 inches nipple to nipple. That's going to be the measurement you're going to get from the outside, and 12 inches is going to be your length. There are several different models of HESCOs that we carry here. Um, this one first is going to be your 3810-800 series. Um, this is multi-hit, one of the lightest on the market. It's NIJ rated for level three. That will stop up to any pistol caliber round. Uh, and it is, again, one of the lightest on the market. Uh, next up is going to be your HESCO 3410-400 series. This is also multi-hit. Uh, this is NIJ level rated for three as well. It's also a pistol caliber stopping and it is going to take more than your 800 series but it is a lot heavier so. and then here we have your hesco 3402 400 series this is level three rated this is your three pound plate this is the lightest plate on the market that will stop anything up to nij level three all HESCOs are actually tested to NIJ rating. They don't just say NIJ rated, they are tested and listed on NIJ's site. So, um, Also here we carry these Chase Tactical. These are level four plates. These are multi-curve. Now the difference between a multi-curve and a single curve is, <clears throat> if you look side to side on this plate, this only has one curvature in the center. Now a multi-curve plate curves to fit the top of your chest and the side of your chest, where a single curve will only curve for the side and not the top of your chest. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the special that we carry, the HESCO L210. Uh, this is one of the most popular plates by HESCO. Uh, it's NIJ rated. It's a special rating up to 7.6239 API. So this plate will actually stop more than this plate will. Now you notice how thin, it's pretty lightweight. I wanna say they're around six pounds a piece. Very, very easy to manipulate. Uh, they fit very well inside of a plate carrier. Uh, this will be one of the higher threat rating plates that we have. However, it is not multi-hit rated, so you will take that one and that's it. But this is the absolute best bang for your buck when it comes to buying a plate for your personal protection. Uh, <clears throat> Next up, we're gonna talk about the Chase Tactical level four plates that we carry. Uh, this is a heavier, more robust plate. Uh, it is right around the same price as our HESCO L210s are, but uh, it is level four rated, so it's going to stop that same 30 caliber round at multiple hits. Uh, there are a lot of carriers that this will fit very tightly inside of, so be forewarned before you purchase these. These are a very thick plate. They are also multi-curve, so the curvature will affect how it fits in the plate carrier. Um, this is a great bang for your buck as well. There's, there's no two plates I'll higher recommend than this in the HESCO L210. Then we start talking about how to install them into your plate carrier once you receive them. Uh, you're just gonna open this bottom pouch. Generally, most plate carriers are set with Velcro on the bottom as an attach point. And you're just gonna slide your plate in there. Uh, it may be snug. You may have some elastic here on the sides. You want to be careful not to wear into that too much. Uh, so you want to make sure your plate is as centered as possible because if it does not center, it can wear out the sides of any elasticity inside of the plate carrier. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. There they are. They're inside of the plate carrier. 
as you can see. All right. Next up, we're going to talk about our plate carrier. Uh, this is a Chase Tactical plate carrier we carry here. It's actually a very nice plate carrier. Uh, they, your attachment for your cummerbund. This portion here is called your cummerbund. This will be your back plate bag, and this will be your front plate bag. These will be your shoulder pads. Uh, this is a very well-built plate carrier. Uh, there's a lot of padding on the inside of this. It's very cool. I've worn one probably a couple hours before and before I even started to sweat or feel uncomfortable in it. So it, it's, it's a very comfortable padded plate carrier at a very, very reasonable price. Uh, and these will fit, the medium will fit any 8, 10 by 12 plate that we carry here. All right. Next up, let's talk about how to attach our attachments for the plate carrier to the plate carrier. All right, first off, we have our dangler. Uh, this is gonna be holding generally medical supplies, uh, administrative stuff, things that you don't necessarily need right on hand, but you may need to get to in any sort of situation. Uh, you can put you know, some snacks or whatever in here you think you want, chem lights, uh, batteries, just basically regular everyday stuff. There's another pouch on the inside of here. You actually have two smaller elastic portions here that you can fit. Uh, I think chem lights fit in here pretty well. Uh, battery sticks fit in here well, that kind of stuff. And then on the front here, you have two other pouches. So uh, first off, take your plate carrier, you're looking at your front bag here. You have your two clips up top, your portion of Velcro here on the bottom. <clears throat> you're just gonna line your dangler up on there. And it is that simple. That is going to sit underneath your cummerbund once your cummerbund is strapped. So, next up, we'll talk about what's called a placard. All right. Sit there, buddy. This is a placard. There are rows of molly attached to the front of it. This will be where you attach your ma uh, magazine pouches. Uh, you know, maybe like a flashlight pouch, something, anything that you're going to want to keep on the front of you in any sort of situation where you're going to require your plate carrier. Uh, these are pretty universal across most plate carriers nowadays. I, I use that term lightly, uh, but anything manufactured now generally comes with, you know, swift clips or some sort of clipping device to clip it to the front end of a plate carrier. And this will just attach by these two clips here. and the placard will open and close. This will actually be folded over your cummerbund once it is put onto your body. So, get the cummerbund around. This one's a little big on me. Apologies, my small waist. Sit here. And there you go. It's basic setup of how you want it to look. Uh, you want your dangler, right around the top of your hip bone. Um, these need to be adjusted up specifically for me. So this would actually sit here. You want your plate, your front plate to sit at the very top of your sternum bone. So if you reach in here, you feel the bottom of your neck, touch the top of your sternum. That's where you want the top of your front plate to sit. And you want your back plate to mirror that. This big notch right here on your back that's where you want your top plate to sit. Maybe a little lower than that if it's a comfort thing, but the, the point is that you know your thoracic cavity is here, all your organs are sitting here. You wanna protect everything from here up, uh, especially you know sitting in a car or something like that. If you have some concerns about threats in the area, you, you, you're protected mostly in the waist region, so you want this to sit as high as you possibly can comfortably so that if you're taking any sort of projectile, you're going to be protected. I'm going to show you how my plate carrier is personally set up. This is a Spiritus LV119 over the beach. Uh, I, inside of here, I have HESCO L210s. They fit pretty loosely inside of here. It could use pads, but it doesn't necessarily require them. This is a very comfortable plate carrier. It's got wide straps. I personally prefer a wider strap because of my collarbone. It's going to sit out a little bit more and displace that weight a little bit better. Uh, the Chase ones we carry here have wide straps. So I do very highly recommend them. Uh, I'll just try to give you an idea how it should sit on your person.
And this is an elastic cummerbund, so this is just naturally going to fit a little bit tighter than it. A normal cummerbund will. There's more give and flex in it. So you see how this is sitting like right in line with the top. And you want your back one to mirror that as well so that anything that you're going to take from the front will also be protected in the same region in the back. So this will give you a brief overview of how you would like your plate carrier to sit on your body. So I'm going to talk to you about a couple of plate carriers that are in stock here regularly. Um, this is going to be your entry level plate carrier, I will say, uh, is a very slick and basic, um, just a plate, just your protection right there. It's just going to carry two plates and then whatever pouches you could fit on your rows of Molly here. Very basic cummerbund setup. You're just going to put it on, cinch that down. Um, these will need to be adjusted beforehand to fit whatever your shoulder is to adjust. Remember what I talked about with that plate sitting right here at the top of your chest. So this one here currently runs $89.95. It's a very reasonably priced plate carrier. And this is really easy just to kind of sit in the back of a vehicle. Um, you can take it out, put it on, feel like you're in a threatening space or that you, you know, maybe you just want to train with something, something simple like that. So. This will be your most modestly priced plate carrier that we carry. So next up, we have what is actually called a slick plate carrier. Uh, there is nothing on the front or the back except your Velcro. The back here will be where you adjust your cummerbund in and out. Uh, this has an elastic cummerbund on it, very similar to mine. So this is the one that's gonna stretch and conform to your body when you are wearing it. This one is Currently priced at $125.96. Again, another similar plate carrier to the other one where it would be very easy to, to grab this and don it in a, in a situation where you would need it. Um, very low profile as well. Next up, we have the one I showcased earlier. Uh, this is the one that's gonna have a little bit heavier padding. This is gonna be a longer use plate carrier, something you would plan to spend more time in. Um, also good for training as well. I would say the, the padding and the cooling on this is, is just as excellent as anything else on the market. Um, you know, this comes with your mesh play carrier. Rose of Molly comes also with the placard that I showed you earlier. The dangler, however, is sold separately. So we are gonna pick that off, but just see so you know. what comes with this will be your placard, your cover bun, shoulder pads, and again, very comfortable, nice plate carrier. And this one is 206 currently. All right. Next up, we have another very well padded. Uh, the padding on these is a little bit different. It's road vertically versus horizontally or in chunks like the last one was. But again, another very comfortable plate carrier, a solid cummerbund, no mesh, no elastic. Also just comes with a magazine insert inside of it already. And there is a pouch inside of here with Molly on the outside to attach whatever else you may need. Uh, this is a very well built plate carrier as well. Uh, very comfortable shoulder pads. Molly across the back, sides, and everywhere else. This will probably have the most real estate for you to attach any pouches or anything else you may need. Uh, this one currently is 233. All of the plate carriers and plates that I've showed you are available on the website. All right, next up we're going to talk about how to attach things to Molly uh, or uh, pals, as, as some people call it. So, first off, you're going to take your item. It may come with straps on the back of it, or you may need to purchase straps separately. Uh, our STAC Kiwis, some of the best on the market, they sell their straps separately because they are very thin and get lost, and you can buy replacements. So, um, first off, you're going to take however many rows that you're going to need to attach the item, and then you are going to start by threading it in there. 
into that first row, first loop, pull through, pull through again. Now on the back side of here, there will be another row that you're gonna need to pull through. I'm not sure if this one's actually gonna do it because this is very tight nylon. But you're gonna take it, pull through, go through and clip it to the bottom. So now we'll go with the S Tacky. So these can be a little bit more difficult to attach. Uh, generally what I do is I will take the inside retainer out of this. Uh, it has Velcro on one side here. And then there is a small plastic folded piece that creates the retention for your magazine inside of it. I set that aside. I take my finger, run it inside of here, kind of give these a little bit of room to wiggle this guy in here once we get started. So go ahead and do that with both of them. I highly suggest having a pair of needle nose pliers to grab the tab on this and pull it through. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a minute. All right, so first off, we're gonna start inside of one row of Molly. We will take the other end and we will start it where we want our magazine pouch to sit. All right. Once we get these about level, these should sit flush with the bottom of whatever row of Molly you're gonna end on. You will then take both of these and fish them through the inside of here. Sorry. Okay, take me a second. And this is where those needle nose pliers are going to start to come in. Apologies for me fumbling. This is your actual attach point of your strap. That's what's going to keep it tight on there. And these have a little bit of give and elasticity, and that's going to be taken up by your actual retainer. These things can be... A little bit difficult sometimes. So, set that in there. Now, full magazine sits there. Does not come out of your S-Tech keyway. Sorry, there's only one strap on this, so I'm holding the side so you can see, but there you go. Alrighty, big thanks to Chuck. And hey guys, thanks for watching. Everything that you saw today will be linked down below into our website. You can guys go check that out. And also there's a whole bunch of more, so go check it out. Or if you're in the local area, come see us. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.